500 milligrams of this powerful flavonoid and your blood pressure will go down by 5.8 over 2.6 millimeters of mercury. Your blood sugar levels will go down significantly. And your kidneys will be protected from the damage done by free radicals. Welcome to Double O Kini. If you are new here, my name is Catherine and I've been working with people suffering from kidney problems for almost 10 years now. Today we are going to see exactly how to use one of the most important natural flavonoids to repair and protect the kidneys. This is actually a natural pigment present in many healthy fruits and vegetables. It's found mainly in the skin of red grapes, onions, apples, blueberries, and also in the leaves of tea and in kale and broccoli. It's actually what gives many of these superfoods their health benefits. Recently, this natural antioxidant made the headlines because it protects from cancer. I'm talking about quercetin. Yes, there is a lot of buzz around quercetin today because many new studies are coming out showing the world how powerful this flavonoid actually is. And when it comes to helping people with kidney disease, its benefits seem to be even more powerful. But you should know that the way you take this flavonoid can literally make or break it. So don't skip the next part of the video. Before that, let's see what happens to your body when you start supplementing quercetin. First of all, your kidneys will be protected. Quercetin has been shown to support the cardiovascular system by lowering your blood pressure and cholesterol and relaxing blood vessels, great to improve blood flow to the kidneys. Quercetin is particularly useful for patients suffering from diabetes because it protects the kidneys and other organs from the damage this disease causes. And obviously, it's a powerful free radical scavenger, alleviating the cellular damage done by oxidation and reducing the inflammation. It can basically make your body younger. Also, in men, an improved blood flow means less risk for ED. And improved circulation also protects the brain from Alzheimer's disease and other degenerative diseases of the brain. Quercetin has been shown to prevent kidney damage caused by immune suppressant drugs that are used after organ transplantation. And many of these benefits are due to the ability of quercetin of reducing inflammation in the body. According to the University of Maryland Medical Center, quercetin is particularly effective in reducing inflammation and swelling in kidney disease patients. And this is even more important than people realize since CKD has an important inflammatory component that's known to also damage the kidney. Now, here's what you need to know before starting to supplement in quercetin. While this flavonoid is present in many fruits and veggies, as I was saying, to get significant benefits, the dose must be pretty high. And while you can get 100 times the quercetin you will get from foods by supplementing it, there's still one big downside of quercetin. It's poorly absorbed by the body. It's a bit like turmeric, which you always need to take with piperin because otherwise the body doesn't absorb it. While piperin won't help with quercetin absorption, there are two ways to make this happen. First of all, a wonderful enzyme called bromelain. Many supplement manufacturers pair quercetin with bromelain because bromelain won't just make quercetin way more bioavailable, it will also provide many benefits of its own. Bromelain is a protein digesting enzyme that effectively fights inflammation in the body, making the effect of quercetin even more powerful. This is why when you combine bromelain with quercetin, they can have dramatic positive effects on kidney health. Another reason why you should always pair quercetin with bromelain. Bromelain is incredibly effective against uric acid. Having too much uric acid is very common in people with kidney disease and it's the cause of gout, a painful condition and it also causes kidney damage. Bromelain does also help 
with digestion. This enzyme is mainly found in pineapples and this food is very healthy, don't get me wrong. Pineapple are not just a source of bromelain, they also contain flavonoids and phenolic acids, two antioxidants that protect your cells from free radicals that can cause chronic diseases. Not to mention the vitamins and micronutrients they have. What not many people know is that the highest concentrations of bromelain is in the center of the fruit, the part most people discard. Yes, pineapple is great, but it must be enjoyed by patients in moderation. 3 4 cup of pineapple will also have 125 milligrams of potassium. That quantity is alright for a low potassium diet, but it doesn't supply enough bromelain to be effective. So let's see exactly what dose you need for these healing nutrients. Before that, safety first. Always talk to your doctor before starting to supplement quercetin and bromelain as they both can have interactions with blood thinners. Both bromelain and quercetin will slow blood clotting time. So if you are on a blood thinner, which also slows blood clotting time, you might experience bruising or increased bleeding. Bromelain may also make sedative drugs stronger. And they also both interact with blood pressure medications because they lower your blood pressure. So be careful and consult your doctor even if these supplements are safe and widely tested and used and the side effects are really minimal. Let's talk about dosages now. According to studies, the therapeutic dosage for quercetin is 500 mg twice daily at meals. Studies have shown that the effects of this remedy are visible after a few weeks and that it's safe for at least 12 weeks. You should take quercetin with a similar dosage of bromelain. This brand that I personally use contains 160 mg of bromelain and 200 mg of quercetin. It's a very reasonable combination in my opinion. But you can also purchase two separate supplements and take them together and that's usually cheaper. There is one more thing worth mentioning about quercetin. It can also be taken with vitamin C. Vitamin C, just like bromelain, will increase the bioavailability of this flavonol and will also offer many benefits of its own. There is, however, a hidden danger linked to vitamin C you should be aware of. I've talked in depth about this in my recent video up here. And this is all for today. Thank you for watching.